Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 3 of the video Toolbar Buttons and Handler. So in this example, we are going to create three toolbar buttons Notepad, Calculator and Quit. So these three toolbar buttons we will create and by default this button appears towards the left of the tool strip control. So we saw these uh, slides as part of the previous parts. Now let's uh, directly go to the demo and see how to add the toolbar buttons to tool strip control. Then we will also see how to assign an image icon to the tool strip button. Then we will handle the event. So first let us create a new project. So once the form is displayed, From menus and toolbars, you can see a tool strip control. So you have to simply drag and drop it. So in the bottom, you are seeing a tool strip control, and this is the tool strip control added to the form. And if I run it, we won't see anything because we haven't yet added any control to it. So I'm clicking the quick task item then choosing edit item so in the top you can see what are all the items you can add to a tool strip control so it has a button label split button there are some set of controls that can be placed inside the tool strip control that are all shown here so first uh, let us uh, put a label So we just kept their label here, then we will add some buttons. Next we are adding a separator, then we are adding a one more button. You can of course add other controls also, it's a combo box. So inside the combo box if you see. item 1, item 2, item 3. So now you can see the label and the three buttons and in between you are seeing one separator. So at run time you will see the combo box item. Now we will save and run it. So here you are seeing item 1, item 2, item 3. Since we haven't assigned any uh, image icon, so by default it is showing some icon, but these are all actually a button. And here is the label and you can see a separator here in between. Alright, you can change the orientation using the dock property. So once I expand it, you can see you can dock the toolbar towards the left or towards the right or even in the bottom position so top is the frequently used position so that's why we are using the top position now so that's all we have to learn here now let's uh, exit this here is the example which we uh, looked about this example in the previous video so 
we talked about the is so a group box and the controls and the control names so first what we are going to do we want to drag and drop this tool strip control here then we will add three buttons using edit item command so we will name these controls ts button one and if you see here we have chosen the name property next i am directly clicking the second control and typing ts btn3 you can see automatically the property is picked and next we are clicking here and typing ts btn3 if you see i haven't yet selected the property here once i assigned a property to ts button one next time onwards i am directly clicking the button and assigning the property all right now we will go to the text property and we will assign the text as uh, this is for npad notepad next one is calc and finally we will place a quick button all right so we need a separator in between so i'm selecting tsbtn2 and clicking on separator and then choosing the separator so we need the separator between btn1 and btn2 so just moving it here so you can see how the buttons are appearing here next we have three bitmap images and the image size is so it's a 16 class a 16 If you see the pixel size is 16 class 16 so these icons are available to download from the video description or if you need you can create your own icon with the same size 16 class 16 and you can create icon as you like all right now we will go back here So here is a tool strip resource file, right? So instead we can directly go here. Let's go to edit item. So now we want to assign the icon. This is a notepad. Notepad. So I'm clicking on the image property then choosing the second option project resource file resource.rex so this one it's hidden here now let's import all our image so this is critical i mean the icon name you can even put rename it as quit show grid line hs show ruler hs so so these are all some icons we used so now if you see our resource folder also contains these uh, bitmap files so for the first button i want notepad so i'm assigning this icon 
the second button let's assign the calculator for third one let's assign critical so now i am clicking ok and you can see the button icons are appearing here also you have to notice that the resources are added here as part of the resource folder so now the buttons are ready to handle the event first let us check the button names so ts button 1 that's for notepad second one is uh, uh, TS button 2, this one is for a calculator and third one is the quit button and here the events are not available so we'll just click on the toolbar button then we'll go for properties TS button 1 and click on this events double click the click event so that's one event second one and third one so you can see there are three event we are handling it so for all three toolbar button we are handling the click events so for demo purpose, we will just place a message box, open notepad and here we will place open calculator. this dot close so that's all the coding here now we will run this once so if you see it by default it is displaying the tooltip text and if you want to change the tooltip text go here edit items always sort it it will be easy now we can search for tooltip Similarly, you can assign other tooltips. So each time you no need to click the uh, property name here. Once you select the button, it by default, once you start typing, it will go to the specific property. So that's all. Now we will check once again. And so now it shows opens notepad, opens calculator, and closes this form. Once I click, you can see the message boxes here displayed. So instead of message box, here the actual uh, coding for opening the notepad goes on. You can use the shell execute to open the you can use this shell execute to open the notepad and the calculator instead of message box once i click quit it will close the form that's all here in this video so handler just now we saw thank you for watching bye